Hello all, in this tutorial we will model texture and light a stall in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So we have taken this reference of the stall. Let's start over here. So let's take a plane over here first. So if you want to define the units, you can just go into this customize unit setup. Let's sit into US standard, feet inches, click OK over here. Let's take a box and let's take the startup over here. Let's scale it first. So let's take a box over here, right from the top view. So we can just define the size of it. You can define the height of it like around 7 feet. You can just define the height as 7 feet over here. So convert to editable poly over here. Let's push this till here. After that what I am going to do over here is like I am going to go into this and going to add one swift loop over here. So let's add one swift loop. Need to add it over here. Alright, so press 4, let's go into the polygon over here and let's extrude it, just go on extruding it, just click, click OK, so I can just make this as 1 and 1. If you want, you can just scale this in this way. So select this now over here. Again put, again go into the polygons, just push it over here. Put one swift loop over here. Just put one swift loop. Let's go into this polygons over here and let's just extrude a bit and just click OK over here. Just push it back and again you can just select this and let's extrude it till here. Alright. So, so convert to poly you can just push it more a bit over here so push this still here in this way and same thing over here so let's select this and just push it in. so we can push it more far, far over here now what I want over here is like I want to create this stuff that is this one this stuff so before we go into this let's push it a bit inside just push it till here push it better So let's go into this view over here. First let's go over here and let's take a line over here. Let's take a line and from here let's take this line and draw this till here. Push this. 
so let's go into the vertices and let's go down and let's give a fillet so we'll go into this rendering enable in viewport rectangular and just increase its width a bit and increase its width so you can define the size over here so we can just push this still here ok so before we go with this we need to uh, increase its height till here so we are increasing its height and also we are going to increase its width of it so once we increase its width over here so push it in the straight line over here so let's go into the front view again over here let's take a box over here let's take a box let's draw a box over here so after drawing a box just push it till here you can make it a bit more thicker and right click convert to editable poly select this polygons use a bit of inset and let's use a bit of bridge so once you have bridged this stuff now you can go into this uh, edge over here and let's use two connects over here let's go into the vertices select this so just push this up till here and let's go into this polygon over here so we can still push that up more so select this polygons and let's extrude it till here half better so just click ok so just select this over here and if you want we can just make a duplicate of it so just push it till here alright so you can just push this and just make a copy of it and click ok that's it so just give a color to it and if you want to increase its more length over here you can just increase its length so you can just push it out a bit so let's save the file first so just save your file over here better so now let's create this stuff over here so for that what we'll be doing is we'll be utilizing a line tool over here so let's take a line tool and just place it over here so increase its width over here and increase its length and just push this alright so we can just scale a bit over here so let's go into this and adjust it so let's just 
duplicate this stuff down so let's make a copy of it make two copies that's it all right so just we can just push it more inside the center over here or you can just push it up more better so save your file and you can just give a color to it all right so now we can just put some lights for that let's take a cylinder over here auto grid let's go to the top view over here and let's take some lights over here so you can just scale this you can just push this up over here and what i can do over here is like i can just make a copy of it so save your file oops got crashed not a problem we'll open it again So first let's save as this file because it's went into that recovery so let's save it as two over here so first let's delete all this stuff select this keep a distance better all right so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial